Today's NFL Daily is sponsored by Rex MD. We'll tell you all about them later on in today's show, but they are the number one leader in men's telehealth, and they're offering you their best deal ever, up to 90% off and pay $2 per dosage at rexmd.com slash chat. We begin and focus in entirely on today's show with Devin White. Could a trade happen? It's, it's a real possibility because Devin White has requested a trade from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Devin White is due $11.7 million. Remember that figure. It's a lot for one year of Devin White. And more importantly, he wants a big new contract. The contract talks have not gone very well so far. The Bucks claim they don't want to trade him, which we can either believe them or go, well, of course they say that. That's how you maintain some leverage once the trade request ends up getting out there. Devin White has been viewed as one of the best linebackers in the NFL. Uh, the problem is he's not. Uh, and I, we, uh, we've actually talked about this. I think it was during our free agency coverage. Someone asked us over, over, over at a player, and my answer was Devin White. He's a great blitzer, awesome athlete. The tackle numbers look great. But he misses a ton of plays. He gets out of position. He overruns stuff. He's not good in coverage. There's, there's a lot of inconsistent boom or bust plays on his tape, which, you know, it's fine in year one. He was really good in the playoffs early on in his career, but he has never been the best linebacker on the Bucs. That's always been Levante David as far as I'm concerned. I have real issues with his overall play in particular with what he wants money-wise, which we'll get into here in a little bit. But do you agree with me? How do you rate Devin White? O for he's overrated, U for he's underrated, P for he's properly rated. Sound off in the comment section. Yeah, I don't think he's as good as Roquan Smith or Shaq Leonard. Certainly not Fred Warner. I think he wants that type of money, though. I would be shocked if, if he was not asking for, at minimum, that 16, 17, upwards of $20 million per year. And I cannot get on board with that. That's too much money for me. And I think that is a significant reason why, if the Bucks do trade him, I don't think they're going to get more than a third back. I think that is the higher end type of player we're going to get because he's going to cost you $11 million this year. And that's either a very expensive one year rental or it's going to be a. Dicey, you know, we're going to pay him big money, hope it works out, and the off-ball linebacker market isn't always the best outcome uh, in the end. So I think third-round pick at most. Keep that in mind as we break down the top Devin White destinations. At number six, the Dallas Cowboys. The uh, the meme, as I call it, has not really been true in the past. Of The Cowboys want to make a splash. actually been true this year. They, they got Stephon Gilmore. They got Brandon Cooks. They have the salary cap space to absorb – the contract of Devin White, that's 11.7, 13.14 for Dallas right now. And beyond Leighton Van Der Esch, who has been a very cheap player for the past year and now this upcoming contract too, they are thin on proven talent at linebacker. Micah Parsons plays edge, really. Damone Clark didn't play that much last year. Jabril Cox, Devin Harper. It would add some speed, but Dallas doesn't love paying big money to players that aren't their guys. I mean, they got Gilmore fairly cheap, but they got Cooks to take a pay cut. I don't think they'd have that much interest in Devin White. So will the Bucs end up trading him? Why for yes and for no? This is the pinned comment on today's show. If the ad break happens to come here on the YouTube side of things, take advantage of it. Head down there. Why for yes and for no. Number five, the Los Angeles Chargers. And my, my mindset here is like, if anyone can maximize that run and chase linebacker that Devin White is, isn't that kind of somebody in the mold of a of a Brandon Staley? Like, if you get that impact linebacker, what Kenneth Murray was supposed to be, isn't that that intriguing? Like, Kenneth Murray has not been the guy that we hoped he was going to be. Now, they have some cap space to make it work. They also got to pay Justin Herbert. Uh, rough estimate here, uh, all of the money. They have to give him, which, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's Herbert. That's fine. You do that. They also did sign Eric Kendricks. Um, so they're in a very unique position here. 
uh, as it relates with their money. It's kind of maybe a bit deceptive there. Murray, they, they tried to Murray an edge for a little bit. It, it didn't work very well. Kendricks gives them some stability, but depth, they're kind of thin. You know, Nick, Nick Neiman, Damon Lloyd, not Devin Lloyd, that's Damon Lloyd. It's not, it's not the best grouping there uh, at off-ball linebacker. But still, it does not value that so much. So that's why they're lower on this list. Now, if you sometimes lack some confidence in the bedroom, you had a night where maybe you drank too much. Maybe you just got nervous or whatever. There's nothing worse than not being able to put the stick shift in drive when you need it most. So have no fear, because RexMD is here spreading cheer even if you had a few too many beers. It is FDA approved and the most trusted leader in men's telehealth. They have sponsored today's NFL Daily to help you always be prepared. RexMD has made it simple, easy, and cost-effective to help all the men out there last longer and feel more confident in the bedroom. They make getting generic and branded Viagra or Cialis easy. Everything with RexMD is online, even the prescription. They deliver it directly to your door. There's no waiting rooms, no embarrassing trips to the doctor, no insurance, and no co-pays. Take advantage of the best deal they've ever offered and get up to 90% off. Only pay $2 per dosage with our exclusive link. Go to rexmd.com slash chat for this limited time deal. Starter packs of generic Viagra or Cialis are available to get started. It's rexmd.com slash chat for 90% off. Links in the comment section and the description of today's show. The Lions at number four. Uh, first sentence or new sentence altogether. This is a really good Lions team. Kind of being mean, but I'm actually very excited about what the Lions can do this year. White does add some speed for them at linebacker. They, they, I, I'm a big fan of Malcolm Rodriguez's game as, as a potential starter, fully long term, next couple of years. Awesome. Uh, Alex Anzalone is, you know, kind of always hurt. I don't think he's the best player overall. Adding Devin White, if you can get him fairly cheap with plenty of cap space, really intriguing. Uh, sorry to you know guys like Jalen Reeves, Mabin, Derek Barnes, like you know Houston's kind of a pass rushing linebacker, so, you know, Nichols, what most teams play these days. That would be really appealing to me uh, for the Lions. There, There is a bit of a, the first four teams I'm most intrigued by is Fitz um, for, uh, for Devin White. Number three, and from like a scheme perspective, I'm, I think it's a great fit. What does Don Wink Martindale love to do? Blitz. He, he, he just dials up blitzes nonstop. What is Devin White best at? Blitzing. It's a perfect fit. The problem is they already paid Bobby O. They threw big money at Daniel Jones. They've got Saquon Barkley on a franchise tag. Darren Waller was a big high-priced trade addition from a contract perspective. That makes it tough to also pay Devin White. I think the Jets are, or the Giants are probably in a we probably want to draft somebody. If money wasn't an issue, the Giants would be number one on this list. You plug in Bobby O and Devin White. That linebacker room was a disaster. The off-ball room last year goes from dumpster fire to we're pretty good now. Uh, I just I worry about making it work from a money perspective for the Giants. Just not because they can't. If they wanted to, they could. But balancing it all is a little bit trickier. We will have all of the latest NFL news, rumors, everything else in between, so make sure you guys are subscribed. YouTube.com slash ChatSportsTV. That link is you know, what's in the comments. What you're watching on YouTube, just click the sub button right now for more free NFL videos. I know many Steelers fans already excited about the idea of adding Devin White. They moved on from the other Devin from that draft class, Devin Bush, who was uh, – He's, he's been worse than Devin White. Miles Jack was also not that great for Pittsburgh after one year with Jacksonville. Money isn't the most free at this point. They'd have to get something resembling some creativity there to absorb. Or you could also just extend him, bring the cap hit down, boom, just like that. You're making it affordable there. That linebacking room is not done with its overhaul yet. Um, Cole Holcomb, who plays kind of that weak side linebacker role mode, I think that mode that Devin White would play, is LB1. Then it's a Landon Roberts, who's he's a big boy, but not that great. Uh, I don't mind seventh round pick Mark Robinson as, as a potential piece, but I think Pittsburgh is, could have some interest there because, hey, more speed on defense, that, that doesn't hurt. So uh, the need at linebacker makes Pittsburgh stand out to me. 
So where will Devin White play in 2023? Get those predictions in for me in the comment section right now. At number one, the Buffalo Bills. Now, I do think to an extent Matt Milano is probably maybe a little bit better at weak side with his size. But yeah, I think you can make it work with what the Bills like to do. Um, at least his speed, I should say, and his size. Uh, we can make it work with Matt Milano and Devin White. They lost Tremaine Edmonds, and they have yet to replace him at this point. Now, the issue is, what is Devin White to Buffalo? Is he a long-term piece? Is he a rental? What is he? How does he fit into a Bills team that is a little bit tight on cap space? Remember, you can always make more for one player. Is Devin White the type of guy you're trying to add there? The number two linebacker is Terrell Bernard, third-round pick. Tyrell Dodson. Balen Spector. Tyler Matakiewicz. Maybe it's Bernard. I, I don't know. Um, so adding in a potential impact piece like Devin White, and that adds some more speed to that Bills linebacking core. So the top six for me, feel free to disagree in the comment section. Number one, the Buffalo Bills. Two, the Steelers. Three, the Giants. Four, the Lions. Five, the Chargers. And six, the Dallas Cowboys. Thank you.